Trey Young's shooting off the dribble ability is unreal. We know this. Now, of course, much of this just goes back to him being an extremely gifted, accurate, generational shooter. Crazy amount of repetitions mixed in with some God-given talent. So will you ever get to this level of sharpshooting? I don't know, maybe, but you don't have to to make this video worth it. If you're able to take these qualities and techniques, train them and apply them, you'll see crazy results in your own game, even if you're not Trey Young level. So let's get into it and help you get better shooting off the dribble. First, let's talk about his pickup unpredictability into the shot. Whether it's picking up that ball quickly in a funky foot position, looking off in the other direction to limit that predictability, or even recovering from losing the ball right into a pickup, it's tough for defenders to predict this. And this is partly what makes it so possible for him to get smothered by NBA defenders and still get shots off comfortably. And part of what makes this possible for him is that he's able to pick it up smoothly into the shot with damn near any footwork you can think of. A lot of players are limited to certain footwork options. But when you have essentially every tool in the toolbox in terms of shooting footwork, outside, inside, quick hops to get you set rapidly, step back and separation options, your possibilities are endless. And it's not just footwork, it's body positioning too. Maybe at times he'll be in a deeper forward lean and has to raise up from there. Maybe he's slightly leaning to the side or slightly rotated. He's still able to not only shoot and make it from there, but do it quickly and fluidly from the dribble. Also notice how early he starts the upward motion of his shot. Instead of waiting for both feet to get set before he starts that shot motion, he's able to get that ball moving before both feet are even on the ground. This can be tough at first because you don't really have that perfect base, but it's part of why his release looks so fast and a quality that every good shooter off the dribble has. Another quality that really speeds up that release is how quick the counter movement on his jump is. So what that means is that from the time he starts his jump to the time that he's in the air, it's crazy short. He's not getting into a super big dip on that jump or even bending his knees much. Just a quick pop off the ground into the air and then into that shot. Then in terms of his range, one big key is that he's able to change his release angle. In other words, on closer shots, that release is more vertical. It's up to the ceiling. He doesn't need as much power forward to get that range, so he can afford this more fluid vertical release. But when he's further back, it's more out and horizontal. So now most of that force is oriented this way, and he can get more range because he's shooting it more forward. Also, shooting off the dribble is a lot easier when you're open. And that's part of it, right? knowing how to use that dribble to get open and then fluidly transitioning into a shot. So here's a bit on how he gets open. First off, he 100% has a bread and butter setup or even shots that he's clearly trying to get to. He's often playing off this right hand hang dribble, which can go a ton of ways. Maybe a hang hezzy pull up, a pound sidestep, and especially a snatch back which isn't just constrained to the hang, it's clearly one of his go-tos because he's consistently getting defenders momentum moving forward and he shoots it rapidly out of this as well. He also realizes that he doesn't actually need crazy separation, just a little bit, just enough, and then a quick release. Sometimes really trying to separate out and create as much space as possible can give a bigger defender time to catch up. He doesn't let this happen and instead focuses on getting their momentum moving slightly, separates out just enough, and then picks it up quickly into the shot. And on a lot of these separation moves, he doesn't have much momentum into it. So it's impressive to see how well he bounces out and creates space and power without this momentum. Lastly, off the pick and roll, he's crazy dangerous. And it helps that he's such a threat getting downhill on pick and rolls and creating shots for himself and others, because then it's like a choice. Do you guard him to take away the three and make him make a play? Or do you give him that three? So this is a tough decision. And most times he'll have that option to find a shot. And instead of actually using that screen sometimes, he'll literally just stay on top of it and look for a shot past the screener, which with his range, he can do pretty easily. And he's really good at almost always finding a little pocket of space to shoot from. So clearly there's a lot that goes into this. And despite Trey having an unreal knack for this, we can train these qualities as well. Stay tuned for a few drills that I think can really help. As always, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Basketball for a lot more like this.